Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, thank you for tuning in. This is Ambi. Today, let's talk about binary iterative search algorithms uh, with Python 3.x, uh, 3.7. So we have a lot of algorithms and uh, in that these algorithms are, have a purpose and there are some algorithms which are made uh, for searching. When you search an item, let's say for Python, if you usually say, is eight in uh, range nine yeah so it is true because in range nine one two three four five six seven eight eight is available right so how how um will that know uh, what are the mechanism or what are different ways that you can uh, use to get that done so here we go so here um, is your typical, let's say you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like till 71, we have uh, numbers, right? So binary search is something where you, um, search is, so again, this binary search works um, on a sorted array. Uh, we are assuming that the entire array which is given to you is sorted from left to right are from right to left so one two three four five six seven eight so here we have an array which contains a lot of numbers last number is 71 first number is one as you can see it is sorted in an increasing order so first what it will do is it will take the half of it so how many numbers are there it will count let's say there are 14 numbers so it will take the first seven and see whether uh, the midpoint that is 14 is greater than the number that we are looking for let's say we are looking for 7 right but as we can see 7 is less than 14 so we will come to know that it is in the first half of the array so then we will again uh, take half of it so we have now seven numbers half of it is let's say four or five so we will take the first five and we will see whether the number is present right uh, so let's say this is the half point sixth uh, this is the midpoint six now we can see that six is greater than uh, sorry six is less than seven so obviously seven is to the right of six so between six and the 14. so now again we will take the midpoint of six and 14 that is eight but we see that uh, and then we will compare this midpoint 8, whether it is bigger um, or smaller than 7. But as we know, 7 is smaller than the midpoint 8. We will know that 7 is to the left of 8 and the right of 6. So we will take the midpoint of 6 and 8, that is 7, and see whether this is the number that we are looking for. Yes, 7 is the number that we're looking for and 7 is the midpoint. And by that logic, we conclude that 7 is present in this particular array. So let's take an example. Here A is an array. 1, 2, 4, 4, 8, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 99, right? So X is the one that we are looking for. Shift enter. Now let me first point out the difference between counting and uh, indexing right so let's say yeah, this is a list sample list ls here length of lx the size or length of the array is six the position or the index of the last item is five so when you are you are indexing it is zero to five right it always starts with zero but the size of the length itself is the count which is always uh, which always begins with one so i think we are uh, clear with that so we saw that you know we uh, when you do length of an array it starts um, counting from one whereas indexing starts with zero So a range can be expanded into a list by doing star range n. Okay, so like this here. So this is range, and by doing this, I can go ahead and make this as a list. 
So let's actually talk about iterative binary search, you know, the topic of this. So let's go ahead and define a function. Define, um, let's say define, what should we name it? Iter, their binary search, yeah? And we are gonna get an array and element is the number that we want to search. Uh, inside that we are going to define the initial start and and found uh, variable zero and the end is going to be obviously indexing right so minus one as we saw that if the length is six then the indexing of the last item is always or the end item is five so length minus one right length of array minus one there is no confusion there and found is it found by default we are as gonna assume that it is false if we find it we will update it as yes we found it are true right while start is less than r equal to end mid is equal to start plus end by factorial of two if you just do divided by two let's say it is the length of the array is 15 then you are going to get 7.5 that is not something that we want so we want to do uh, this floor division right so it will floor uh, let me give you an example here let's say 15 by 2 gives you what 7 whereas 15 uh, by 2 gives you this 7.5 15 floor division this is called floor division that gives you um, the floor object the nearest factor uh, the ne nearest number so this is the midpoint how we are going to calculate if element equals array mid so we got the midpoint the mid index then what we are going to check is we are going to check whether the midpoint itself is the number or the element that we are looking for if it is, then our job is easy. We're just going to set this true, right? And if that is not the case, then our you know, another condition is if mm, yeah, less than array mid, let's say if it is less than the array, right? We are going to do this. And is mid minus one. Uh, if the element is less than the uh, the midpoint, obviously the end point is going to be the mid minus one because the new midpoint is going to be our end point and the because the number that we are looking or looking for is to the left hand side of of the because if it is the midpoint is less than the number that we are looking for, right? Then it is. To the left I'm sorry the if the number that we're looking for is less than the midpoint then the, it is to the left and if the number that we're looking for is less than the midpoint then it is to the right so the number here that we're looking for is let's say here 7 and that is less than the, uh, the number 14 so it is to the left if it is uh, the number is great then it is to the right if a number is less then it is to the left number is less to the left number is greater to the right so okay so then we will come to here else of course start is going to be mid plus one yep mid plus one return and we are going to say return found at the end yep save and I'm gonna do here. Let me take here. So it's 88 percent in this particular list. True, right? So is 118 percent in this obviously false statement. So that is all I had for iterative search algorithm. Thank you for tuning in. You have a great one. Take care.